Hey, what's up? It's Philip from Easy Unreal, and let me show you today how to quickly change your static mesh uh, to the nanite mesh. Uh, I will show you how to change a single object and how to change the bulk objects from the mega scans. So, uh, to change a single object, I will go into my uh, third person uh, template, and over here, for example, if while if I want to change this object to be nanite, I will select it, right click it, browse to asset, and it will take me to the asset, and right click over here go to nanite you can see over here it says uh, one meshes so click it and wait for a bit uh, to unreal to build the uh, shaders and your mesh is a uh, nanite so to be sure we need to check it out so we go over here on the lit and go over here that says nanite visualization and select triangles and you can see that uh, this uh, cube is a nanite since this is the same cube you can see that uh, we have that all these cubes are nanite also but this is also a nanite because i enabled it before so you can see it also over here to go back just hit this lit mode and you'll be fine what if you want to enable a nanite for multiple meshes i go to bridge for example select this yellow rabbit brush click add to project and it will add this to the project a good thing is to see your static meshes uh, so we need to add this simple filter select it and click over here static mesh and now only the static meshes will be shown here so select the first select the last while holding the shift right click on it and nanite enable nanite six meshes of course wait for uh, uh, unreal to build the uh, shaders and you will have your nanite foliage over here this is very important because if you check out this tutorial over here it's important to enable your nanite if you can see the foliage it turns uh, black turns dark and it's not not uh, it's not looking uh, so good so make sure to always enable nanite uh, whenever you can because if you go over here on this website uh, you can see what are the benefits of uh, having nanite in your project and this is it you can pause this video and check it out uh, thanks for watching uh, if you find this helpful let me know in the comments below and as always i like to promote my 75 tips and tricks for unreal engine to make you fast and super efficient in efficient in unreal engine 5 you can check out it in the description below thanks for watching bye bye